This is Sean. And Sean was very spirited a couple of days ago and I've noticed him really slowing down and today he did not come over for grain. So I'm going to do a quick evaluation on him to decide what we think is going on. Um, so first of all, I do notice there's a little bit of hair loss on his face, which is probably from bashing his little friends. Um, we're gonna check. These guys are so naughty. Um, so we're gonna check his famancha. So that's his, uh, um, basically to see if he's anemic. And it it's really hard to see for him to hold still, but it actually looks pretty good. And today is Wednesday. I just dewormed him on uh, Sunday, so just a few days ago. Um, I don't think it's parasites. Um, we're gonna get a temperature on him. He is breathing a little bit heavy. Yeah, he has a super high temp. So he's still up. He's got a super high temperature. Um, I just gave him a shot of vitamin B complex and that is to help keep his energy up. Um, he's not underweight. He is a little tender on one of his front hooves. Um, so I trimmed it up. It was not overgrown at all. Um, there was a tiny little spot that looked a little funny. Um, so I sprayed it down with a mix of 50-50 DMSO and LA-200 and I cleaned it all out. Um, I gave him a shot. He probably weighs about 100 pounds. I gave him a shot of a little over three cc's of LA-200 and I'm going to hit him with some new floor as well uh, just to make sure that I get him with everything and I gave him a big blast of probiotics. He's just, you can tell, He's, his eyes are leaking, he's breathing really heavy, he is uncomfortable, and he is normally super um, aggressive with the other sheep. We've got some cob down here he has no interest in, which is very unlike him. He's usually beating the crap. Okay, so I pulled him out of the boy pen, and I put him in just this little area to see if he needs some grass. I'm going to be putting him in the horse trailer, and I'm going to bed it nice and thick and deep with some straw, so he can stay nice and warm. We're supposed to get 20 degree temperatures tonight, um, which here in uh, the Pacific Northwest, we don't get a whole lot of really cold nights. I put the coat on him. It's not to keep him warm or dry. It's actually to keep his wool clean. Um, he has some really nice fiber and I'd like to keep it clean if he's gonna be in really deep bedding. And this is the problem that we have with sheep is you see he's just standing there chewing his cud. If you didn't know, any better. If I was not watching him this close, uh, he, I would just come out one day and he'd be dead and I would have no idea why. But I know his personality and I noticed the slightest change and uh, it makes a big difference uh, when you catch it early, um, which I did notice it a few days ago that he was a little bit off and I knew I should have just followed my gut and I didn't. So he is not out of the woods, even though he's standing there chewing his cud, looking good. Uh, I mean, we can, we'll just have to wait and see if the meds work for him. Um, he's normally fighting me and he doesn't want me anywhere near him. And he's just kind of standing there like acting like he's friendly and he's not. He is cute though, but I will um, keep him all nice and warm tonight and see how he does tomorrow. It's Thursday morning. He's made his little bed back there and he's got his hay here, his grain here, his water. He's been eating and drinking. I just took his temperature. It's 103.4, so it's down significantly from yesterday. And uh, he's much more feisty and alert. And he's looking pretty good. I did not end up giving him another shot of New Floor. I just gave him that one shot of LA-200 yesterday afternoon. And so far, big difference. But we're going to continue to keep an eye on him. Here we are Sunday afternoon. I took his temperature. It is 104... Or no, no, excuse me. 103.5 so he's holding a good temperature he looks good he ate all of his hay uh, that we had set out so huge appetite increase in the last 24 hours and uh 
He's got one leg stuck out of his little coat here, so I know he's been being a boy. Um, he's doing really good. I wanted to show you what I did give him. I have not treated him with anything further, just supportive care, good food, uh, water. He's drinking really good. I have him in the horse trailer here. Um, so this is the LA 200. I gave him a shot of uh, like a little over three cc's of that. Um, high level vitamin B complex for energy that really helps stimulate his appetite and keep him going. I did give him a little bit of meloxicam that can help with pain. Um, this is the probiotic paste I usually have. I do have goats as well and the goats preferred. It just seems to be pretty good but it works out good on sheep and then just a thermometer. Um, I always have that handy. This is the rest of the boys that are in the pen um, that the ram what was in that he was sick. Uh, everybody looks really good. They're eating really good. They feel good. Acting great. Um, I think what happened is he just got a little spot of hoof rot and it just kind of stemmed from there. Um, he was really active and he was uh, trying to breed all the boys, which you don't get very far doing that and uh, he was expelling quite a bit of energy and I think that that and all these severe weather changes that we've had just all work together and making him really sick and he's gonna go back out with the boys here in the next uh, couple days I just want to make sure he's all good to go here he is he's doing better it's still Sunday afternoon and he's totally interested in grain doesn't plan on sharing it with mama chicken um, he is not leaking out of his eyes or his nose anymore he's completely dry um, he's still missing some hair on his face and I'm uh, not really concerned about that right now I'll take a look at that later if it continues to get worse I am gonna shear him but I'm going to wait a couple of days because I want to make sure he's good and healthy and all the way back before I shear him and then I'll put him back in a little coat that will keep him warm um, until he can adjust a little bit because we are supposed to get a little bit more cold weather.